everyone, it's Heather. So I'm really sorry that I have been away for a while now. It's been far too long since I've seen you guys last. I have not really been uploading much on either of my channels and I've basically been living on my exploring Instagram. Other than that, I just haven't really been active on social media. I had to really step back and every time I say, I'm coming back guys, this is the week, I'm gonna have all these new videos, it never ends up happening. And I'm really sorry to anyone I've let down, I know quite a few of you have reached out to me like, Heather, please, we need a new video. So for today, I am gonna be opening the spooky mail. And I do have new videos on the way, I promise you babies, I'm gonna have new videos soon. I've been trying to figure out this channel and my new channel and if I even need two channels and what I'm gonna do because as you guys can see, things are a little bit different. <laughs> so I'm trying to figure it all out. But I really do miss you guys so much and I wanted to come back and hang out with you today. So for today's video, I'm gonna be sharing the spooky mail. So basically, a few of you sent me some mail and it's all stuff that matches my spooky new aesthetic and lifestyle. So of course I wanted to share it all on camera today and I wanted to thank everyone. I did already open this stuff, sorry, <laughs> but I really wanted to open it on that day. I was super excited, so let's jump into it. So the first little care package I'm gonna be sharing with you guys came from Death by Nostalgia, and I love their shirts, they're so nice! So, here is the letter, and she said, feel free to read this on camera, so I'm going to. Hi Heather, I'm such a big fan of your toy videos and of your urban exploring page. I collect vintage toys too. I admire you for deciding to change despite other people's criticism. I also like wearing black and feel confident whenever I wear it. I like your new look and I wanted to send you some of my t-shirts. I hand print all of these shirts myself and have started my own small Etsy shop, Death by Nostalgia. I hope these will help build up your new wardrobe. I have also included some small gifts I hope you will enjoy. Keep sparkling, your friend Cassie at Death by Nostalgia. And there's all these awesome Lisa Frank stickers on this. And no matter how much of a spooky girl I become, I still love my Lisa Frank stickers. <laughs> all right guys, so here's the shirts and these are so nice. And I'm not just saying that because she sent me these. I was really, really excited whenever I saw these. So here's the shirt with the logo. It says Death by Nostalgia and there's a tombstone on it. So these are 100% cotton and they are so, so soft. Oh my goodness. So I definitely like this one because it has a tombstone on it, of course. But for today's video, I decided to wear this one. So this one has this lady wearing sunglasses and they say as if. And it's definitely my personality, so I really, really like this one. Um, it's hard for me to show you guys because I do not have my spoopy filming wall set up yet. So I am literally sitting on this tiny chair that's making creaking noises that's crammed up against this wall with just stuff all around me and I'm trying to figure it out. So I can't really show you guys like the full look, but the shirt ends at like the perfect point to wear them with leggings. That's what I'm doing right now. So I really like these shirts and you guys should definitely check out her Etsy shop. I'm gonna have all the links down below. So if you're interested, be sure to check it out. So before we jump into the next package, because I just wanted to sit here and chat with you guys in between opening stuff, um, I am working on this background. So I gotta admit, I actually do like the gray. I love gray now, like so much, and I feel like it's a really great contrast with my black and with my pink. But what I'm thinking about for this background is I'm thinking about buying a big old map, like one that has holes in it, and it's just really like old and just eh. And I wanna just have a big old map behind me because right now the theme of my life is adventure and exploring and seeing just old interesting places. So I thought it'd be pretty cool to get a map as my background or maybe a bunch of little maps that I can just kind of like tape up on the wall. <laughs> I don't want anything too busy in the background though, but I do think that a map could work really well. <laughs> so we'll see what I can come up with. But anyway, let's move on to Jessie's package. My really good friend Jessie, who I hope to meet someday. She's such a cutie. Her name is Jessie Moonheart. You guys gotta check her out on the socials. And she has a website. Check her out. She is adorable. Dear Heather, happy spring. I hope this package finds you well. I know I recently sent you a package, but I didn't really write a lot in my letter. 
I remember us becoming Instagram friends first, then I found your YouTube channel and the rest is history. I love your love for thrifting and old stuff. Watching your toy videos encouraged me to let go of the shame I felt surrounding my lifelong love of toys and to embrace my toy collecting tendencies. Thank you for making all the toy content that you have. My collection is small but curated. Barbie, Sailor Moon dolls, Care Bears, and my American Girl Samantha sit in my closet altar within my design studio slash office. Rarity is my favorite My Little Pony and she is the star of my pony slash unicorn collection. I consider myself to be a unicorn warrior and I see that in you. <laughs> I love that so much. That needs to be a shirt. Yes. You fought through so much just to make your dreams happen. You are brave and empathetic and you keep growing and going. Don't ever stop growing into the person you want to be, Heather. <laughs> Let's do the Heather's not going to cry during a mail video challenge. <laughs> no matter if you're sharing your toys or taking your audience to a spooky new place, you are inspiring others and sharing your light. Last year in February, I was really sick and watching your videos made me want to heal so I can grow my passions. And you know, I hear that so much from you guys. So many of you found me whenever you were sick one day or dealing with a major health issue and you watched my videos and they cheered you up and that just blows my mind that I could have that kind of positive impact on someone just by sharing something that I collect or just sitting down and talking with you guys. It just blows my mind that I could do that and that's a big reason why I don't want to quit no matter how crazy things have gotten with the channel and with people and stuff like that. Like I don't want to quit because knowing that I can do some good and help people just like people that on the other side of the country, the other side of the world, the fact that I could put some kind of good out there that really means a lot to me and that's something I really want to do. We all have a choice when it comes to the direction of our lives and we get to choose to be happy. I'm really glad that you are choosing your happiness every day. Speaking of happiness, I wanted to talk about what I've sent you today. I love sharing books and as I was Marie Kondoing my collection, I knew I had to send this series to you. Miss Peregrine's let me make sure I'm saying Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children is a dark series about a young man whose wild adventures send him back and forth through time. The images within the books are real curated vintage photographs found by the author through his thrifting adventures. He wove the images into the stories he creates. I really think you'll love this more than the Vampire Nights manga I sent you. Sorry if that was awkward choices. No, it was. I was excited because I was like, I've been wanting to read this. Someone actually sent me this. Thank you so much. So no, it's not an awkward choice at all. So that's this package to your P.O. box. Chin up, Heather Sparkles. The world is yours to explore and create as you see fit. I believe in you and your magic. You are strong unicorn warrior. <laughs> <laughs> Sending you all the best wishes on your adventures and endeavors. Your friend Jesse Moonheart! That was seriously the cutest, like, most meaningful letter ever. Like, I, I love it so much. Thank you. And I'm sorry I just, like, threw it on the floor, but I was just, like, so excited. I was just like, wow, that was amazing. And I just wanted to read that because it's so nice that someone, like, supports me on the stuff I'm starting to do. Uh, my new interest, what I'm starting to express here on YouTube, and that's a big reason why I've pulled back so much, is because I'm like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? <laughs> what, like, how am I going to share myself on this channel? Like, am I still welcome here? Like, I don't know what to do with all of this. I will say though, guys, the toy videos are not done, okay? If you have been following my Instagram and if you saw the image I put on the community tab, I started to redo my um, vintage toy collection setup. Um, so I have the shelves in like a new way, but I'm still trying to find places for a lot of stuff that's around here and the whole filming room's trash. So the collection room is getting cleaned up and then I'm going to be doing a new shelf tour. So yes, I still collect My Little Pony. I still have them. I still collect Polly Pocket. I still have all that stuff, but I also collect spooky things <laughs> and old things and I go out on these road trips to do dark photography and I love it and it makes me so happy and it makes my soul just like so fulfilled so I want you guys to know that like I've just been trying to figure it all out but I'm not done I'm really not done I'm coming back and I'm gonna figure out what to do with either both channels or just one channel or something we're gonna figure it out but anyway let's take a look at these books 
So I was really excited to receive these because I have not read a book in years. The last book series I got really into was Anne Rice's The Vampire Chronicles. I just love that book series so much. I love Anne Rice to death. I've been actually thinking about rereading the entire thing. <laughs> um, and then I got really into the manga, Nana. And other than that, I just haven't really read much. And I figured it was time. So here is what Jessie sent me. And these books are so me, it like hurts. So this cover is just amazing. And there's some of the photos on the back. And look, the doggy has goggles just like I do. And we'll be talking about these here shortly. So we have The Hollow City, the second novel. So the first novel is, I think this one, The Home for Peculiar Children. And I love that cover. I can't believe he found these images thrifting because, oh my gosh, I wish I could find cool images like this thrifting. Another thing I'm really into collecting right now is old photographs and tin types and just other types of antique photography. So this was just such an awesome choice to set me. <laughs> Thank you so much for paying attention and being so thoughtful. Here's the other one. I really love this cover as well. This is The Library of Souls, the third novel, and the pictures on the back, once again, are just so rad. So I can't wait to read these. I was waiting because I was going to share them in a video, so now I get to read them tonight, and I am pretty excited. So thank you so much, Jesse, just for being such an awesome friend and supporter, and for sending me those books and being so thoughtful. Speaking of decluttering, I need to do the same. This room is a nightmare zone and it all needs to change. And that's why like I haven't really filmed much in here because I'm just so embarrassed by just, this room has exploded and it just, it needs to be orderly. So I'm gonna be letting go of quite a bit. Like I'm keeping like certain parts of the collection but the rest like it has to be given to new homes because I just can't I can't even anymore <laughs> so next up we have one of the most amazing care packages I have ever received and this comes from Zachary and this is just amazing whenever I saw this stuff I just couldn't believe it it's all so good so Zachary wanted to gift me some items for my cabinet that I do not have yet <laughs> I've been like going to antique stores each week and I've been finding just the most awesome stuff and here and there like I'll buy something small and I realize more and more Heather you don't have the cabinet yet you gotta slow down I'm trying to get like a curiosities cabinet put together and I want to custom paint it and just make it really awesome and there was one cabinet I really wanted online it didn't work out there's another cabinet I'm looking at but I feel bad painting it, you know, because it's like already kind of nice and I was so dead set on painting this thing. And so I'm just trying to find the perfect cabinet for my antiques to live in. And I haven't yet, but there's just so much good stuff out there. <laughs> it's so hard not to come home with something. <sighs> so the first thing we have here is an antique camera and this one is over a hundred years old. I looked it up online. I believe it's a model from 1917. I could be wrong. I'm sure one of you guys will let me know. I'm gonna research it more. So this is a folding autographic brownie camera. And this was one of like the first consumer cameras. So this camera is just stunning. I love it so much. And I'm gonna be cleaning it up. It has some dust inside of it. So here's a little closer view of it. It's just so stunning. I have been wanting an antique camera for so long. I've been seeing them at my antique stores and they're always like so expensive. And I just couldn't really justify it because I'm like, well, I'm probably not going to shoot with it. I'm probably going to use it as a display piece. So I never ended up buying them. Uh, so I was really excited to get this. It's been on the wish list for a long time and it's just so cool. I'm not going to attempt to fold it back up because uh, this has been sitting open for a while and I don't know how brittle the material is by now and if it can get messed up. So I'm just gonna clean it out and we're just gonna leave it open in the cabinet. So hopefully you guys can see that, okay? That's the viewfinder right here and it's so cool. Let me see if I can get my hand in. There we go. Can you see my hand? 
<laughs> is that not the coolest thing? Um, it's kind of hard to like get it just right and to find the right positioning. Um, but I thought that was so cool and just like mesmerizing. I love it so much. The viewfinder is just so much fun just to look at and play with. And this camera just speaks to me, something about it. I love it so much. I love all the little details on it, all the different like settings you could do. It's really awesome stuff. Um, I did find a YouTube video on a few similar models and I was, I was watching how they worked and it's just amazing. I've gotten really into photography now. I kind of took a little bit of a break from video uh, just to kind of clear my head and I started just doing photography. So now like I travel around to different locations, primarily like abandoned locations or locations that are historical or they're like just visually interesting. Maybe they're haunted, stuff like that. Lots of cemeteries, that's my obsession. And I take photos of that and I post it on my new Instagram account, Heather, I believe it's under dash explores. And I love it. I love doing dark photography. <laughs> so I love film in general. I love that cameras get to connect me to the world and to connect me to you guys. And it's just been so much fun. So yeah, I'm kind of starting my little photography adventure. I've always wanted to do that. I bought this camera with the intention of doing photo and video. I've done a lot of video, not much photo yet. So I'm getting out there now and exploring and trying to get some fun pictures taken. And it's just been just so, so much fun so much fun to express myself but anyway i love this camera thank you so much zachary i'm sorry i'm just like blabbing on i i wanted to thank you again for sending me this it really made me so so happy so anyways guys that's the camera so whenever i saw this i squealed because i thought it was like the cutest thing so this is a vintage um, like, you know, a collectible plate that you would have in a cabinet. Um, I guess you could eat off of this. You could have tea and cookies, spooky tea and cookies on your Nancy Hanks Lincoln plate. <laughs> so this was Abe Lincoln's mom. And at the Nancy Hanks Lincoln grave site in Lincoln Park, Indiana, you could buy this commemorative plate. And I thought that was just like the cutest thing that someone sent me because it's just so like unexpected. I didn't know they made such a thing. It looks like it was made in 1951 by the Southern Indiana Association of Women, I believe that says. Uh, there's a piece of tape over it. But um, whenever I saw this, I just thought like, that is seriously the cutest thing I've ever seen for some reason. So thank you so much. This will definitely fit in well here. <laughs> it looks like she died in 1818, which if you think about how long ago that is, that is absolutely crazy. It blows my mind, honestly. So thank you so much again for this plate. I think it's really, really cool. So this next thing is absolutely amazing. Whenever I saw it, I was screaming, I was like, this is stunning, thank you so much. So like I said, I collect antique photographs and this is an incredible photo album. Now guys, I want you to know, I know someone, someone out there might say it, maybe you won't. Yes, I am a vegan. However, if there's an antique item that's made out of leather, the damage was done like over a hundred years ago, I don't mind having it or buying it or anything like that. Uh, like these goggles, they have leather on them, but these goggles or glasses, whatever they are, they're like from the 40s. So for me, like I'm okay with it. I don't mind. I don't want anyone to be like, that's leather, you're not vegan anymore. I just wanted to explain myself, okay? <laughs> but anyway, this album is absolutely stunning. So here is what the front of it looks like. There are all these incredible like floral leaf. Wait, are, is there any floral? Yes, there is floral detailing. I had it upside down, I think. Is, are those flowers? I'm not sure. But there is some kind of plants on it and just some really amazing detail work. And then you can see there used to be a clasp on the side. It looks like it was attached right here. Um, and it's like a brass clasp. 
And then the side of the book has some amazing shiny gold leaf. It is absolutely gorgeous. And then whenever you open it up, oh my goodness, this is, oh my gosh, guys, look at that. It is beautiful, shiny gold, little designs. It's seriously so stunning. I love it to death. So here's what the inside looks like. It is an old photo album. I would say probably late 1800s, early 1900s, I'm gonna guess. That's just what I'm gonna, that's what I'm thinking. I could be wrong, but um, it's amazing and I love it so much. There's like that gold leafing on each page. And whenever I saw this, like I said, I was just so happy. So thank you so much, Zachary. This is like seriously so sweet. And there was the little letter that said, maybe some of these things can help start off your curio cabinet. And I'm gonna find that cabinet. I have literally gone out every weekend. I've been all over Facebook Marketplace. I've gone to like, no joke, 20 antique stores. I can't find it yet, but we're gonna find that cabinet. So the final thing that Zachary sent me is this awesome candle. There are all different types of bones, like skeletons and little gears and letters. And I love it so much. It's so, so cool. I really have a thing for bones right now. So whenever I saw that, I was really, really happy. All right, everyone, so that's about it for this spooky mail opening video. I wanted to thank you guys all so much for hanging with me. I'm trying to get some new content up. I have ideas. I'm trying to figure it out. I'm trying to figure out the two channels. What do I want to do? What am I possibly going to do anymore? <laughs> I don't know. I cannot figure it out, guys. Um, I just, I'm really happy with, like, what I'm doing now and I'm really happy with the person I've grown into and who I've become and I feel like I've really found myself and I just want to be like a hundred percent me with you guys and I realize that maybe the new me doesn't work with this channel I don't know I'm trying to find a way to to make it all work because I've worked so hard on this channel and I want you guys to know the type of content you've been wanting to see it is coming back. I'm still gonna make that stuff along with new stuff. So I'm gonna figure it out. But for those of you that have stuck by me and have supported me, thank you so much. I really love you guys and I really, really appreciate it. Actually, let's end this video by talking about what's on my head because I'm sure some people are gonna have some questions about them. This is a new addition to my collection. So I guess you could say I'm kind of, um, an odd collector now <laughs> and I was at the antique store the other day one of my favorite ones it's actually like a full vintage shop and I saw these sitting on this table at a booth where they seem to sell like all kinds of old tools and stuff um, a lot of the stuff there was from around the 40s so I'm thinking 40s or 50s on this one I could be wrong they might be even newer but um, I'm gonna figure that out I gotta look them up still but here they are they are these really cool goggles they're green glass and it says Sesco on the top it's like real thick glass they have some kind of leather material on the side of them and then the arms are a little bit bendy. And then on the inside, the metal is like a little bit corroded, but it looks really cool. I cleaned these up and sanitized them really well today. So here's what they look like. And I am absolutely obsessed with these. Whenever I posted them on my Instagram, they were like a huge hit. People were like, oh my gosh, those are so great. Where'd you get those? Um, so they were only $7 at the antique store. And I was told that was a really great deal. So I'm pretty hyped to have them. I just love them so much. Um, yes, I can see out of them. Uh, it kind of looks like regular sunglasses, but there's a little bit of a green tint, just a little bit. So the cashier was making jokes about how these are going to be so great for the beach. They have a little wind guard on the side. And I tell you what, he wasn't wrong. I mean, I hate getting sand in my eyes. I'm going to wear them here and there. Obviously, they're quite old and um, I don't want to get like a bunch of makeup on them all the time that I got to clean off. All right, everyone, so that's about it for today's video. Thank you all so much for coming back and hanging out with me. It felt so good to sit down and talk with you. I really missed you guys, and I'm not going to be gone much longer. I'm going to be getting new content up. 
We're gonna have some familiar old favorites along with some new stuff, and I'm gonna be working on the other channel as well. So I wanna thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next one. So until then, stay weird, stay spoopy, stay cute, and stay you. Bye, everyone.